Hello, hello. Today I want to talk about something very important. Now, many of us who are modern programmers, um, what we've learned to do is to use things like Google and Stack Overflow to learn things, to find our resources at. And uh, sometimes that's not the optimal way to do things. Now, yeah, sure. When you have a big question, you could go on Stack Overflow and search for it. And if the answer isn't there, you could ask the question and wait for someone to reply. Or you could use the RTFM technique, which is a shorthand for read the fucking manual. Now, Vim comes with excellent documentation. In fact, if you're new to Vim, it even comes with tutorial. So you can go and type Vim tutor in your terminal and this will give you a basic tutorial that will teach you how to um, navigate the file, how to um, do basic editing, how to save, quit, etc, etc. But once you want to learn something more specific, <clears throat> you can just read the manual. Now the way how you open it is you type help. And it also has a shorthand which is just H. Okay. Now here's a, a little cool Easter egg. Did you see that? It says don't panic. If you if you put um if you type help like that, it will say don't panic. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So um, once you open the manual, the first thing you're greeted at is quick instructions on how to use the manual. Um, so it gives you uh, basic instructions like like this. Uh, control. A bracket which is uh, same as a C tags jump to jump into the topics and then you have control I control O to go back and forward to jump between buffers uh, and it also explains um, like basic cons context in, in BIM so if you want to be faster in your searching and if you're searching for something specific like uh, insert mode command you just prepend it with uh, with I underscore something okay so <clears throat> the first thing you may want to do is just browse around um, and the Vim um, the help is kinda like a book it has all the topics like getting started and editing and blah 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 and like we've learned earlier we can just uh, jump into um, into the topic so for instance let's learn about repeating you do control bracket, we jump in, want to learn about uh, single repeat, again, jump in, maybe we want to go back, we do control O. Now I've remapped um, the jumps to leader M, leader dot, because it's to me much easier to do. So here, jump back, or jump back into the topic. So here, jump back to the menu, cool. Now. Um, browsing the, the help like that isn't very efficient. Sometimes you want something concrete. Like for instance, I just opened my VMRC and I have a bunch of settings right here. Um, so what do these do? So for example, maybe I want to know what, um, what this does, undo deer. What does this do? I have no idea. So let's, let's ask, uh, help. Let's ask Vim manual for help. So we do H and I'm gonna do control RW to yank the word from the cursor into the command line and hit enter and bam, there we go. I can learn what undo dear does. Or I can even learn something more specific like what does uh, session directory do from this setting right here, do the same thing, bam and I can read the manual and see what it does and what's going on. In fact, Vim has kind of like uh, very um, concise, um, sorry, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but it has uh, a documentation system which every plugin out there uses. So it's not just limited to, to core Vim functionality. For instance, one of the plugins I use is called Airline. And it's what you can see at the bottom. It shows uh, what mode I'm in, what the file type is, etc., etc. If I want to jump to the manual for airline, I can just do help airline, 
and bam, I'm right into the manual and can learn whatever I want. So that's pretty cool. You should use this technique, read the fucking manual, it's really good. And if you may avoid it now, one day you will find it useful. For example, uh, two weeks ago I was on a plane from Europe to Canada, was on an airplane without internet, and I wanted to do some work, and offline manuals like these came really, really handy uh, for, for my work. It's exclusively what I relied on, and it's really easy to find the information you want. You don't need to, to go online and browse for resources. This is really quick and nice way to do it. Okay, now before I finish, I would like to make a book recommendation. Uh, this is Practical Vim by Drew Neal. It's a really good book. You sh probably shouldn't pick it up on the day one. Uh, on the day one, you start with Vim Tutor and uh, start playing around on yourself. And then maybe when you get a little bit familiar with Vim, pick up this book, read it from cover to cover. It's really good. It will teach you everything you need to know. Well, not everything, but will give you a pretty good basis on on how to use Vim. Thank you guys for watching.